Hello everyone, back to kindergarten. Today we're collecting Monster Mon cards because as you can see, I still need a whole bunch. So let's get to it. We're simply starting out with $2.50 because I don't want to put up with that idiot named Bugs. Let's start with fan favorite Nugget. Hiya Nugget, how are you this morning? Hi, my friends call me Nugget. Or they would if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. Well, what happened to Billy? Billy is missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy. But Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. Do you know where he is? Or more accurately, where he died? Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Who knows? Your question upset poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pills. Gulp? Much better. What were we talking about? Hopefully that was cyanide because Nugget's getting annoying. Who? I don't know what you're talking about. What's in those pills? I don't know. The principal gave them to me after I saw something traumatic or something. They're great. The principal gave you pills? He's lucky that's all the principal gave him. Is that legal? Probably not. You don't find that suspicious? I do, but he said that's a side effect of the pills. Of course. That's actually pretty, pretty brilliant. You want one? Damn right I do. Let's have a few. There you go. Enjoy that pill. Take it if you start thinking about Billy too much. Right. No more talking now. Shoo. Shut up, Nugget. Don't shoo me. Well, since we now seem to be on some kind of Billy quest line and I'm armed with a pill, let's go talk to the janitor. I feel like he has something to do with it. How are you doing there, Sunny? Don't mind the old janitor here just sweeping up after you silly cretins. Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. That's a mop. Ah, so it is. You're also mopping a sidewalk. I'll be mopping your blood off it if you don't skedaddle. I don't want to skedaddle. I'm a man of my word. You gonna kill me? Oh, and he's actually going to kill me. Good time to take the pill. Let's try that again with less janitor. We'll go through Nuggets crap again. Well, instead of the janitor, let's try this kid. Hello, kid. I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. Odds are I can get it for you. Well, let's see what he's got. Here's what's for sale. Yo-yo, cigarettes, voice recorder, screwdriver. I think a screwdriver sounds like a good idea. That way I can screw stuff or unscrew stuff. Got this sucker off the janitor for a steal. Well, we might as well talk to the missing Billy's sister. Oh, um, hey, I'm Lily. You probably heard about what happened to my brother Billy. I haven't. I really wanted to say I don't really care, but I am going to ask, because I'm going to see where this quest line goes. It's been all over the news. He went missing a few days ago. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. That makes you one of the few people that even seems to care. Ever since he went missing, people either ignore or insult me. Cindy has been trying to put gum in my hair. That bitch. I don't know, but if I were you, I'd stay away from her. She's really mean. I know she is. She scares me. Okay, enough of this morning. Let's move on. Okay, children, it's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. It is the morning, you idiot. Good morning, children. It's time to pick your buddies for morning time. Or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best, you can be. Well, there is a Monster Mon card there in the cubby that I don't think I've got before. So let's see if we can figure out how to get that one again. Before we get carried away with that, let's talk to the girl whose brother is missing. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. He's dead. Okay, then. Well, that wraps that up. Uh, you kid, what do you got? Okay, after bribing this kid with the yo-yo, he's gonna distract the teacher. I'm supposed to go out into the hallway to do something for him. I'm not gonna be able to do that, though. So, he's going to distract her. I take the Monster Mon card. Take the card from Cindy. There we go. Cindy doesn't need that anyway. Get over here, kid. Yeah, that kid's pretty pissed, but he got a yo-yo out of the deal, so he really shouldn't complain. It's one of the best toys he's ever gonna get in life. Well, I'm at it. I'm still going to see if I can get out into the hall. I think I still can. Oh no, says teacher whatever her name is. You can't just leave class without a pass. Okay, can I use the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? Yeah, enough of this. And here we are in the hallway. There's a Monster Mon card behind that grate. I need the screwdriver to get it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it on my current quest line. Not so fast, our little dude. I'm going to need to use your hall pass. Here it is. Okay, that's it for this area, never mind. Okay, we're forced to move on to lunch. I'm still plus one Monster Mon card so far. Back to this girl. Please don't sit with me. I don't want to talk to anyone until they find my brother. Okay, so much for her. She's kind of a bitch. Well, I do still think I can get onto the hallway to release the Monster Mon card that's behind the grate using my screwdriver. I just have to go through the whole event where I feed Cindy part of her dog that is sold to me from the janitor. So here we go. I've enraged a janitor by telling him that Monty pointed out that his sign is spelled wrong. So now the janitor is going to stab Monty in the head with his mop until he's dead and then I get his glasses. It's all about working smarter, not harder. That's why he's a janitor and I'm going to be a CEO one day. 
Oh, these glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Right, thanks. And there's the glasses. Now, if we give these to the lunch lady, who's clearly been doing speedballs all night, we get to go out into the hall. How you doing there, Sunny? Want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? No, I just want to go to the bathroom. That's all I'm after. Okay, we now have free range of the hall, but first, what's in the garbage? I've never actually looked. It's a garbage can. I'm not going to dig through it to find stuff. Okay, that's a useful mechanic. Glad we uncovered that little secret. Anyways, here we are in the hallway. I can see something behind it, but I need something to unscrew it. And we might as well visit this girl again, see what she's doing out here. Go away, kid. I'll get in trouble if the principal hears you. Walk away. Okay, we can't really interact with her. Okay, and if I remember correctly, we can't go into the bathroom at lunch unarmed, and we can't get into the janitor's closet anyway, so we gotta move on to the next area. Alright, so by this point, we haven't actually unlocked enough quest lines to do anything different, so we're just gonna end the day here with two new Monster Mon cards. For show and tell, I brought a pill. Oh, you know what teacher likes, don't you? I think I'll show this to my mouth and tell you all not to tell anyone about this. Okay, bad news. Only one of those was new. I guess I already got the one in event. I can't remember when I got it, but I did. Let's try it again, see what else we can find. Alright, starting again, we're gonna take more money because I want to get rid of bugs right away. That means he needs to assault me, so I need to put a whole bunch of his money into my wallet. You know what, we're just gonna take all the money because bugs takes half anyway, and I want to be able to buy stuff should I want it. So here we go. As we start, bug comes up, he's gonna assault me, and I'm gonna tell the teacher on him. As we listen to the sweet sound of brain matter being bashed in, we better call for teacher. She'll come and take care of Bugs. Bugs goes to the principal. Bugs gets shot in the head. No more Bugs. Then we have a little more freedom to do all the things we want to do. Today, I think I am going to buy the cigarettes because then I can deal with the hall monitor at lunch and hopefully there's a Monster Mount card in the bathroom. I'm also going to take this opportunity to buy the screwdriver. Not really sure I'm going to need it, but I might as well take it now should the opportunity arise for it. And same thing as last time, get this kid to point out the spelling mistake on the sign, then the janitor is going to come kill him, then I'm going to the bathroom. And once again, Monty has some unfortunate luck having to deal with the janitor at lunchtime. The lunch lady's bribed, let's go into the hall. And into the bathroom, where the hall pass guy should be lurking. But instead of busting me for once, I'm going to give him cigarettes and I'm going to get a snoop around. Huh? You? You're not supposed to be in here. I gotta take you to the principal. That is, unless... Unless what? Well, I'm out of cigarettes. If you had some, I'd be willing to let you off. I do. Thanks so much, little guy. Go do what you gotta do. See you around, little man. See you around, uh, we weird guy. Well, so far this has been a complete waste of time. Thanks again for the pack, little man. Now get on back to class or whatever. Sure. Okay, I guess there was actually no point in getting in here unless there's something in the toilet behind him. Doesn't look like I can interact with it. Outstanding. Okay, back to class I guess I go. No Monster Mon card here. Another dead end, a failed mission. Let's move on. Let's do Jerome's quest. I feel like we could find some cards there. So for Jerome, the person we're going to do, $2.50 from the piggy bank. But we need $3, so in order to get $3, we're going to press enter twice, use two apples, brings us up to $3. Now we gotta buy a few things off goggles. Goggles? Good morning. How are you? I want to buy some stuff. Here's what's for sale. We need the yo-yo, the cigarettes, and the screwdriver. Now it's time for the whole distraction thing with Jerome, starting with the yo-yo. Jerome's distracting Mrs. Bouncy Bosom, so I gotta get out of the hall. I have the hall pass so I can get past Mr. Hall Monitor, this idiot. And then into the janitor's closet I go. He's obviously pretty good at his job, seeing as he doesn't turn around after I pass him. Ignoring the gun and presumably dead body in the janitor's closet, I'm first gonna go grab the Monster Mon card. I don't know if I have this one here. We're going to take the Monster Mon card, of course, and we get a new hint for that. Now we need to unscrew the shelf right here using a screwdriver. It looks like a screw is loose. Unscrew that, out comes a laser pointer. We take that right away and then straight out the door. Take the laser and, oh, the janitor caught me. Okay, I think you can only do one action at a time. So next time I'm simply going to take the stolen stuff and not get the Monster Mon card. One more time with a little less murder. The screw is loose. Unscrew, give me the crap and let me get out of here before I get my brain bashed in again. As much fun as that was. Bunch of stuff, blah blah blah, take the laser and run for it. As soon as you hear that bell, you gotta make it for the door, otherwise you get your brain smashed. Which brings us to lunchtime. Hey kid, over here. My name's not Kid, kid. Well, did you get it? I got it. Dude, that's awesome. I just hope the janitor doesn't notice. He can be pretty territor. Which one of you dead little children went into my closet? All of them. 
Oh geez, sounds like you noticed. You better hurry up and hide that thing before it gets here. If he catches you with it, you're a dead man. Um, the garbage can, quick, in there. And that's where we're going. Straight to the garbage can. It's garbage can. Hide the laser right in there. Well, anyone want to step forward? No? What is the prize? Yeah, no one wants to get their brain speared with a mop. What about you, little junior principal? I took your lasery thing this morning. I'm sure you want it back. Search me, man. I don't have it, so screw off or I'll tell my dad you peed in the water fountain again. That's probably actually a really common occurrence with this janitor. You win this round, kid. What about you? You've been in my closet? Turn out your pockets. Nothing. Still got my eye on you. Good for you, janitor. Oh, just leave the poor things alone. You're always looking for a reason to appeal a child on that mop of yours. Is that a euphemism? I hope not. So what if I am? Um, ain't nothing wrong with impaling a child. Once again, a little concerned. Just go sell your mystery meat. The mystery meat is Cindy's dog, by the way. We covered that in a previous episode. Fine, but mark my words, someone will pay for going into my closet. Actually, before you get started, that garbage can needs emptying. Go take care of it. The lunch lady bosses him around. They're probably married. Stupid lunch lady making me do my stupid job. Well, that's what you get for being a janitor. Janitor? Well, that was fast. There's no way you took it all the way to the dumpster. Would you relax, woman? I dropped it off in the bathroom. I'll get it after the bell rings. Which gives me my opportunity to go get it back. Old Broad is just mad the kids like my food better than hers. Good fresh dog. I am quite a fan. Well, that didn't go quite as planned. At least you're not dead. That's a relief. What now? I hate to ask this of you, but you need to go get it. The janitor said it's in the bathroom. What's in it for me? Exactly. Why am I doing all this? I know I'm asking a lot from you, but just work with me on this. I'll make it worth your while. That sounds promising. Every time I've ever been offered that, I took that deal right away. I'll go pay off the lunch lady so you can get out. Just hurry back. The janitor will be taking out that garbage shortly after the bell rings. Well, go pay her off then and I'll risk my life for you. On empty promises. Okay, she said she let you out. Go get it. Fetch, in other words. And to the bathroom we go. This one. And we gotta bribe this idiot with his cigarettes. It's all coming together. You're not supposed to be in here. I gotta take you to the principal. That is unless... Well, cigarettes. Here you go, strange ogre. Have some cigarettes. See you around, little man. Yeah, whatever. Take your business elsewhere. Looks like digging through this after all. Get the stupid laser pointer and straight out the door. Otherwise, a janitor kills you. That's a recurring theme in this game. As we start lunch, Goggles calls us. Hey kid, come over here. Jerome briefed me on your little mission. Did you manage to get the laser from him? Yes, I did. Good. I don't know if you noticed, but the janitor is watching Jerome a little too closely. He looks like he's about to kill him. We gotta do something about it. I actually prefer to just let him kill him and then I get the laser pointer. That seems like a better deal for me. That old man has been harassing kids for decades. I think it's time we finally got even with him. How do we do that? I'm gonna take the laser as collateral for my services here today. He'll get it back when he pays me. Okay, now what? Trum gave me this. It's one of his dad's little bugs. Little things tend to pop off if they don't like what they hear. Don't worry, I deactivated it. And what do I do with that? You just worry about putting it behind the janitor without him seeing you. I'll handle the rest. Come see me when it's done. I'm really putting a lot of faith in a lot of these kids for a lot of empty promises. Should we place the device here? Yes, we should. Directly behind the janitor, right where the magic can happen. Okay, goggles, did I place it? Yes. This is going to be good. Now Jerome... He gets out of the way, get back here, I ain't done questioning you yet. And the device blows his head off, no more janitor. I wonder who's gonna clean that up now. I guess it'll soak into the sand mostly anyway. Jeez dude, I told you to distract him, not blow him up. Same difference. He had it coming. Yeah, he really did. A lot of blood coming out of him. The janitor just exploded. Very observant teacher. Yes he did. The irony here is that there's no one to clean up the parts. See, that's what I was getting at. Can we just go inside? Yes, I think that would be for the best. I hope everyone had a good recess. Well, I'm pretty sure the janitor didn't, but mine was pretty good. And after school? Well, kid, I'm impressed. You put up with this whole crazy day just because I told you it'd be worth it. Yeah, it better be. It is, trust me. It's just a shame it required Monty taking the laser pointer until I pay you back. Either way, you've earned this. What is it? It's a mold for a key to my dad's office. You get this made and you can go in there anytime. Yeah, couldn't you just give me the key? 
My dad is pretty secretive about his office. I'm pretty sure he has the only key to it. So be grateful that you even have a chance to make a key for it. How can I even get this made and how do you have a mold for it? What kind of crazy world do we live in? Monty can hook you up. Just bring him in at the beginning of a day and he'll figure it out for you. This is where we part ways, man. You're pretty cool. I'll see you around. Yeah, you suck, by the way. And here's my new item, the key mold. This is the mold for a key to the principal's office. Okay, more of this to come. Giveaway on one of my last videos, link in the description. Hope you like this one. Thanks for watching.